Hello and welcome to the pilot episode of Tabi, which is not to be confused with what little kids were taught when they were younger and you need to relieve yourselves in the corner and say Tabi, Tabi, because that's for bad spirits. But then looking around, <laughs> looking around, not to offend anyone, but this might be the perfect time to start it off as well because we're not necessarily bad spirits, but we are otherworldly. You can just say that, right? We're otherworldly. We're otherworldly. It's not really for bad spirits anyway. It's and maybe for, for some we are. Exactly. And that is, that's what we're going to delve into today because our conversation for Pride Month We'll center on, just for this conversation, we want to tell everyone that no one is an expert on the subject, except for the fact that we are all LGBTQIA, I'm assuming, yes, everyone identifies as LGBTQIA, and we live this life on the daily, right? So that is why we're in this conversation. In fact, we want it to open more conversations about pronouns. So I research a little bit about it, and the correct term is personal gender pronouns or preferred gender pronouns. Now, within that community, they can't even agree, we can't even agree what to call them, if it's preferred or personal. Preferred would mean that it's a personal choice. So someone approaches you and you're, oh, that's just your preferred pronoun. So you can't compel me to call you your pronoun that you prefer. So some people would like it to be called personal gender pronouns. And there's a number. Would you know? I already said it earlier. I shouldn't have, but can you wager a guess of how many personal or preferred gender pronouns there are now? From my generation, it's only three. <laughs> that is, okay, our generation. Yeah, our generation. Our generation was, had only? I think we only had two. Mm -hmm. Basically, and it became three or up to five. Mm -hmm. And that's all. What did we grow up with? Okay, like we got He, she. Then somebody, some people wants to be called it or they, them. The it started out as something to insult someone. Exactly. That's how exactly. it started out. Uh -huh. So you're an it because you're neither he or she, right? So you'd be an it. Mm -hmm. By it, it. No, no, true. That's, that's true. how it started, that's right? That's true. So it, and it would insult you because no, I'm a he or I'm a she growing yeah. up. And then sometimes you could just go, okay, you can just call me shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a combination. That's a yeah, good she, and it. Exactly. Uh huh. So that I guess that's how it started. People would maybe like treat us as some can shit. Mean, and some can <laughs> just treat with respect. Okay. So I'm gonna start this off by introducing myself, and we go around right. with our preferred or personal pronouns. Okay. So I'm gonna start out just a little bit about myself. My name is Jude and I am a professional storyteller. I write stories, I photograph as well. So they're all stories that I put out there. So I tell people that I'm a professional storyteller because when people start paying me for it, you become a professional, right? <laughs> so <laughs> professional storyteller and my preferred pronouns or personal pronouns are she and her. Let's start at the very end. So my name is Van Nissen and I am a content creator. And my personal, personal pronouns, pronouns are he, him, and his. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's your turn, it's turn. superstar. <laughs> Hi, I'm David, I'm an icon. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes are half meant, by the way. So, <laughs> so I'm a content creator, a musician. My button on my skirt just popped off. Uh, so I'm gonna sit like this. We can think of. Didn't. Oh, it did. Anyway, uh, I'm a musician, a content creator. I used to direct also and write scripts. Um, my pronouns are he, him, they, them. Sometimes on the phone I get called she or ma'am, and I honestly do not mind. Um, so you can call me anything. Because in my head. Even yours? Sure. <laughs> uh, in my head, I've convinced myself that, like, they're just words, and nobody's word should be able to affect me. But then we can dive deeper into that later. Get your power over those words, yeah. right? Hold the power over those words. Yeah. I don't speak for the whole community, though. That's mm -hmm. just me. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Larry Ethel. I'm a writer, um, and I'm a teacher of writing. You're so nonchalant about a writer. <laughs> and, you know, Larry has won a lot of awards with his poetry. I'm a huge fan of that book that you came out with your poetry that he actually put on the cover a little piece of the wallpaper Neighbors by Atmo. <laughs> so their old house in Paradise yeah. had in his room like peeled off 
wallpaper. Correct. And yeah. you made that into the cover, and that won awards, right? Oh, what yeah. did it win? Tell so, us. So it, it, well, the poems they won the the Palanca Awards, um, which is the highest award in the Philippines <laughs> for poetry, by the way. So nonchalant, I'm a writer. Okay. But but but, but thanks for bringing up that book because that mm-hmm. that book's quite old. It came out in 2009. Mm-hmm. Um, and not it had, that old. And it, not that old. Mm. And, it, and it had floral wallpaper, the one that I grew up in. Um, and it was also, in many ways, a book of coming out. Yes. Uh, it was. It's called the highest hiding place. Um, my my preferred pronouns are he him, and I bring up teacher of writing because I've also been. You know, if you're a teacher of the arts, uh, chances are you will have a lot of students who are queer, non-binary. And pronouns is non-conforming, huge, non-conforming yeah. and, and, and pronouns are a huge thing in the classroom. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm here today also as someone who has seen the changes through the years, um, not just with writers, but with, with people. And you so. can't be detached from it the way, like, for example, Regal and I can be detached from it because we don't do that on a daily. You do because you face your students, right? Of course. Yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Regal and I'm a lawyer at the same time I'm a public servant as treasurer of Mandawe and uh, the municipality of Liloan. Mm-hmm. My pronouns, I prefer to be called he, I mean she, her, um, but then um, most, because I, I grew up being called he, mm-hmm. him, and then my, my office uh, addresses me as sir, mm-hmm. taxpayers address me as madam. And now because I'm a I lawyer, love that. Your office refers to you as uh, sir, sir. And but the taxpayers, taxpayers madam. <laughs> I love it. Okay. And then, so if, they, if, if, if they're confused, just, I will just tell them, call me attorney. Yes. So that's it. Because you know, Jude, growing up, there's only two, mm-hmm. his and her. I never identified to be her. Mm-hmm. Um, you never? I never identified to be that her. That is interesting. And, um, maybe just about 10 years ago, that's the time that I transitioned. Not because I, I, I had a... So that's very recently, 2009. Correct. Or uh, there about, s- 2010. About, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I always identified myself as, I'm not boy, I'm not girl. Mm. So, okay. Like queer. Mm. And then when the, when the queer word arrived, because that's me. And then after that... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Over the years, I, I think I'm not queer. I only um, I felt more of a woman. So that's why maybe the past few years I've been transitioning. I'm interested in this because I've known you a while, but I've never heard this from you. I've heard it from other people. Mm -hmm. Regal prefers to be called he. I'm like, what? Let's take a step back for all of us trans women. (laughs) That's confusing everyone. So I'm glad that you're here in this conversation. Yes. Because this is exactly how I feel. Exactly. Like growing up, I wasn't sure if I was like woman or then there are parts of you still talk like a man. Uh It depends on who you're with and what time of your life you met these people. That's true. Right? I mean, I don't mind being called sir by students in Vellas because I taught in Vellas. And I was very strict at that time to tell them, no, call me sir because when you meet me in public and my parents are with me and you say, madame, I'll die. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) I will die. So, like, to preserve your life, you got to, you know, adjust. And then eventually when I, you know, left home and struck it on my own, that's when I could, oh, I can be madame because like you. Because maybe... (laughs) For the last 10 years, pronouns mm. is a bit sensitive. Yes. But before that, I think it was just... It was just, just okay. yes, yes. And now they've evolved. But before we get into that... Hi, I'm Kira Dawn. I'm a DJ and a content creator. My pronoun, pronouns is she and her. Okay. Oh, I'm Chase, and my personal pronouns are he, him, and I'm a trans rights advocate. Uh, I do other things, things as well. well. I'm a hotelier, business person, etc. Um, Amazing. Okay. So going back to what I was saying, I did a little research and like Riga said, we grew up just he, she, right? And that was it. And now there are 78 of them. And 78? 78. There's an exact number. I'm not going to read all 78, but I really had to read what was written here. Just a little a bit of them. Z. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing them right. There's a C, there's an A, there's a V, there's a T, there's an E, there's a Zim, there's a C, there's an M, there's a there, there's a... I can see your face and you're like, but you were saying that if we brought this to Congress, Correct. if we legislate, Correct. you well, call me this... We will this. have a difficult time 
if we bring this to Congress and talk about all the pronouns, I think the Congressmen and Congresswomen will just be too so overwhelmed. Dizzy and overwhelmed. Too overwhelmed. They will not even vote for it. Is it because okay. we're making the world so difficult for them? Yes. I saw a girl on TikTok who uh-huh. pronoun was a two. Two? We were we were looking for we were looking for a cloud actually oh, okay. a pronoun that is called call me a cloud but before we get way ahead of ourselves okay I can understand the he and the she and even the shit, right even the shit, which like I love that because it's a combination of everything just call me shit because I'm sometimes I'm a she and sometimes I'm a he sometimes I'm an it right so that's something I learned from you I might be uh, using that in the future but seventy-eight pronouns is it too much to ask of other people because not like gender uh, expression, for example, that is quite obvious. Like we, when you look at gender expression, Mm -hmm. you can't assume things. For example, you two at the end are trans men. So your gender expression is male. Is that correct? Masculine. 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 They're masculine. Trans trans men have have a masculine masculine expression. expression. Oh. Some are more more, uh, mix of both. Uh, feminine and masculine, or like fe- really feminine. So, so like androgens. Androgens is uh, one way too, uh, but yeah, um, the, your gender expression doesn't have to dictate your gender identity. So it's yeah, different. So you can be feminine, but still. So many layers to it. Yeah. So that's why we, it's really diverse and it's a spectrum. So in the case of pronouns. It's not like it's on your forehead, right? Like you call me a cloud or you call me a he or she. It used to be very obvious when we were growing up. Yes, exactly. It was either he or she. Those were the choices. Now with just 78 to choose from, you have to inform someone. This is how I prefer to be called, right? And the way I, okay, my analogy of it is, I don't know if you would agree or disagree. I've always thought of it as how to pronounce your name. It's common courtesy. For me as a host, as a professional host, to ask people how they pronounce their names. Mm -hmm. That is a common courtesy. Um, Even if with your chosen names, after you've transitioned, even for cisgender people, I need to ask them how they pronounce their names. For example, when I was growing up, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. When you're uh, Filipino, it's is no in, in Cebu, it's Stephen, right? It's uh, Stephen. Shala kay nagimu hang Stephen. No. Yeah. But when you go out of the country, it's Stephen. Yeah. Yeah. It's Stephen, right? Yeah. So like growing up like that, you cannot be irritated when people suddenly call you Stephen when you go outside the country because that's how it's pronounced in the rest of the world, and you come back and you're a Stephen yeah. because everyone grew up calling you Stefan. Mm. So do you legislate that? Between somebody, if you say, my name is Stephen, and they continue to call you something else. Stephen, exactly. Yes, yes. maliciously. Yes, so that's my analogy of pronouns, right? But how do you say it's malicious already? If you tell somebody that, like, I would be preferred to call, to be called this, just like your name, like, you know, if I, like, let's say Ladies and gentlemen, Stefan. Oh, no, no, no. It's Stephen. And then you go, Stefan. Yes. You know. That's what it becomes malicious. Okay. 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 For example, you'd say, I come up to you and I say, oh, I prefer to be called she or her. Yeah. And your he yeah. is our guest. That's malicious. Yes. Like when there's that little accent on the. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's, okay. it's really about intent. Yeah, that's true. Because word, you can use words, you know, it's like, a, it's like you, they're sharp edges to the words. Yeah. They can cut. Yeah. Right from a writer, words yeah. can cut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think intent and context go both ways too. Mm-hmm. Because not, like we could also be um, you know, some days we're not at our best and like we like inflict pain on other people. Yeah. Well, like for me example, some days it's just annoying to fight homophobia, right? It's just like I don't want to deal with this today and then you just like have a little outburst when we know that hey, like we have to educate people too oh, because yeah. it's not common knowledge, you know. It's, it's not common knowledge. Too. So like, you know, we have to be more patient also. And so like, context goes on both sides. Like, if somebody's not trying to offend you, mm-hmm. like, you know, we gotta be a little more patient with them. Like, hey, um, actually it's this. Yes. Which is difficult now to determine. I don't know if you do this in real life that you sometimes you can feel if someone is really just curious about mm-hmm. it and asking you, nicely about it 
Uh, some days it's a bad day, like you said, David, yeah, yeah. and you, you're not in the mood to explain yourself to someone. But you really have to have a little bit of patience because, like you said, it's not common knowledge. Yeah. I mean, we live it on mm -hmm, the daily, mm -hmm. but we're not... But not everyone knows about it, yes. know about it, exactly. right? Uh -huh. Okay, what's your experience about this? Uh, misgendering or what is your, like, uh, take on that? Because you present as female, yes. You your pronouns are she and her. And she's so, very pretty. Exactly. <laughs> so that's I would think that's not a problem with you when you're talking about pronouns. Yeah. But it's what not. is but the especially that, when it comes to um, what do you call this, gender invisibility, when they think that they don't believe me as being lesbian. They and, uh, don't believe you. Yeah, mostly the, of the, the men. Common, yeah. Phrase would be kagwapa ni mo. Exactly. Yeah. You're too pretty to be lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> they think all lesbians should be butch. Butch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. what they think, yeah. right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you, in your case, are invisible that way? You feel? Mostly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to tell them, like, I'm inter interested in girls, especially when I play in mm. clubs. Yeah. So most of their men, like, you know, like... Because they come up to you and, <laughs> yeah. you know, they start a... Yeah. Conversation. Okay. That's a question, though. Mm -hmm. um, and when we introduce ourselves in public, like you in school situation, yeah. Larry, tell yeah. me if this is wrong or right. You don't really come up to people and say, Oh, hi, I'm Jude. By the way, I love to suck. <laughs> right? I mean, that's not something. Yeah, you don't, you don't talk about sexual orientation yes, immediately. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I jump right. straight into the sucking of d but you can, you can always Correct. say, Correct. I am Jude and I'm gay. Exactly. I mean, that's mm. not something. You could say, oh, by the way, I grew up in Australia just like you did, if you know, but like, I suck d That's not something. Are we trying to normalize that? Mm -hmm. is that? Is that what we're doing? And I think that's, you know, like, just on that point, um, I, I think one of the maybe issue some people have with, with pronouns is, is, is the question of like, do I really need to say that at the start? Yes, right? true. I, I think yes. when, we, when we announce or our preferred pronouns, we're actually also announcing more than, you know, just, just a, a word, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. We're really announcing our sexuality. Mm -hmm. We're announcing our preferences. Um, which might alienate people. Which I think intimidates a lot. Yes. Mm. I think that that's, for me, like that's part of my experience with the pronouns. I think I'm part of the generation that's really just he, she. There so when go. they came into the so picture. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. when, 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 a boundary here. You know? And then okay. I really, I really saw. the shits. <laughs> and, and, uh, the shits here. And I really, saw, I really saw it change, you know, from students who, from queer students who were fine with he, she. Mm -hmm. And then there were students who now began to prefer they. Um, and even as, you know, as someone from the older generation, I, even as a queer, person, I found that difficult, that transition. So sometimes I still make mistakes. I perpetually get corrected by my queer mm -hmm. students. They're like, they, Larry, they, not he or she. So I think it's partly a generation thing. Partly it's getting used to. Um, but I'm remembering one moment where I think things really changed for me with pronouns. Because I also felt like, Samuka ba ana? Oy nga, why do I... Ganong yes, kadaghan yes, yes. onya, why do I need to, to say my pronouns? Mm -hmm. Honestly, that was my, even as a queer person, I was just like, Samuka. Samuka, Samuka man kayo na. True. But I think there was one moment that really changed and it was my first time to announce my pronouns. It was a group thing, so we were all in a circle like this. Um, and then it was my first time to say I'm Larry and, and I'm he, him. And I was like, why? In my head, I was like, it felt good to I say it. I felt you breathing. <laughs> it, 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 felt, yeah. it felt good to say it. And I was like, not just for me, I think. It made me think, Bitonga, why do we need to say our pronouns? Mm -hmm. And it made me think, oh, maybe I'm not doing it for myself. But I'm doing it for one or two people who are in the Sorry. crowd. Mm -hmm who do not want to be assumed that just because they look a certain way, then their pronoun should be he or she. Mm -hmm. So Morag, in my head, wow, I'm announcing my pronoun so that I create the space, a safe space. for other people who may not feel safe and that they can feel safe. And that was like that was life changing, if you will, for me, because I was just like, wow, my pronoun is not just for me. 
you know? Exactly. Kaya I feel safe. Uh -huh. And I don't feel like I need to like say my pronouns. <laughs> yes, yes, uh -huh. But other people might need to. Correct. Correct. So Morag, wow, I'm not doing this Monday I for me. I'm doing this so there might be someone in the group who will need to say their pronoun. Um, and that changed, I think that changed how I see pronouns. Um, it made me rethink certain things about gender. Um, I'm actually curious about like that difference that you brought up regarding like identity and expression. Mm. Morag, um, there's a part of me that doesn't quite get Understand. that difference. Yeah. So I'm actually yeah. quite curious. I feel it's related to that a bit. Um, yeah. Um, well, identity is because we all know what soji means, right? And they not all. Said, oh, yeah. <laughs> so we, we have to define. Okay, it. Go okay, ahead. Yeah, okay. Define it for maybe, may, maybe for this circle. We, we know Soji, but I think we for might our... assume. Yeah, we're, you're, just, you're, you're assuming that we know, or maybe our televiewers also do not know about Soji. Right, so yeah, let's talk about it uh, per... Uh, so, SO means, in Soji, sexual orientation. So that's who you are attracted to. And who you are attracted to. Yeah. Who you want to go to bed to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, or romantically... Yeah. Involve yourself in. Yes. Mm. Yes. yes. And then... Which is why people can be... Homosexual, that's a sexual orientation. Um, yes, but that's kind of not politically accepted anymore, the homosexual and the yeah. heterosexual. Okay. Because when you say homosexual, this is the word that people use to define gay people as sick people, people uh, yeah. who are wrong in the head. Right. Yeah. Okay. But on its very it, basis, homo means same sexual, same sexual orientation, yeah. right? Supposedly. You're attracted to people exactly. who are of the same sex uh -huh. as yeah. you, right? Or, or birth sex at yeah. least, right? But historically, the word has been used to describe gay people as sick. Yes. Clinically, yes. Yeah. yeah, sick in the head. So, so what do we use now? Just gay. Or gay. lesbian. Oh, okay. Or lesbian. Yeah. All right. Because when we were growing up, gay was for both male and female. So there were gay men and gay women. It was yeah. like the umbrella term at that time. Yes. Yeah. That's why we, so had a, we had a gay movement. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Which, which also included lesbians. And all the other sexual identities. Yeah. It was yeah. more of universal, the gay yes. term. Yeah, gay. But that's why I. Which I have... is the same word as happy, uh, right? Exactly. Which is the same word uh -huh. as happy. That's why sometimes <laughs> I have a. But then I want to know, like, what, what's G I E? Okay, okay. Like... okay, okay. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so moving sexual on. Sexual orientation, okay, who you want to go to bed with. And then okay. G I is gender identity. Okay. So that's who you are or how you see yourself or how you, how you identify as, yeah. I have a problem with that. <laughs> it constantly changes, like Rigal. Yes. Constantly so, changing. Yeah, so that's um, like either the binary thing is either you see yourself as a man or you see yourself as a woman or if you're no. non binary. Which is our generation, like it's binary. Kinsa may lalaki ang nga relasyon. Always like that. Right? Yeah. Even for two males or two females. Uh -huh. yeah. If you have a lover, they're always like, ooh, I wonder who's the man in this relationship. Or you go on the bias relationship. There you go, right? So that I get. That's, that I get. Actually, that. There's, you know, I explain to people it doesn't yeah. have to be binary. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a term for that. It's heteronormative, but that's also, also another yes, topic. Yes, heteronormative making ooh. just the hetero the normal thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is wrong. Which is wrong. Yes, yes, it's it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like two, I mean, two guys. Yeah. So can some may nas ilaw man? It's always well, that. I right? always say, who's the bottom? I always say, who's the husband? Like, who's the wife? The point of being gay is that there's no woman here. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sure you say to people who ask like, who's the there? Man no men here. here. Right? And 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 always, especially in your among lesbians, mm -hmm. whoever is the more more dominant becomes the man. Yeah. And the 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 weaker will become the women. Well, it's it, that's unfair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, continue with the GI. <laughs> so after gender identity is E, but also it's their um, its expression or otherwise. How people see called, you. Yeah, gender expression. Okay. So, so how you present yourself. Yeah, how yeah. you present yourself, your mannerisms, how you dress, how you act. So uh, this is obviously E female. Feminine. But so Feminine. what is this? This is queer. This is queer. <laughs> this is queer. This is queer. So it's you can not, question it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is, yeah. Um, yeah. what opened me up to queer is actually David. 
I, mm -hmm. I had a conversation with David a long time ago. I had the same sentiments as um, Regal here that that's too much. What, what's a he, she, and now there's a queer, there's a gay, and there's lesbian, and mm -hmm. now there's queer. I was like, some, some more. And then David was like, okay, I still remember that conversation. I don't know, I don't remember where it was. It was in Cafe Laguna. Yes, we were having a media lunch for something. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, I, just, I don't even remember where it was, but I distinctly remember what David told me. He was like, when I was growing up, so you could only choose between, when I was growing up, you could only choose between when you say gay and specifically men, uh, you gay men, you were either the good looking, rich, single uncle <laughs> or oh, there you go. the parlor gay. Yeah. Exactly. Th those are your only choices. Mm -hmm. so you, would, oh, you, you could gravitate, gravitate towards one or the other. Mm -hmm. And then David was like, but I was neither. Yeah. I, could, I could not identify with either. If you take this off like on a daily, you could pass for a straight guy. Yeah, if I put like a pair of slacks on. Yes, you would, would be like, a good looking no straight guy. I am a good looking guy, yes. but I'm not straight. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I mean, you could, pass for, <laughs> you could pass for a straight looking guy. I do have that privilege, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you do have that, yeah. right? So, but then David tells me I was not one or the other. So when the term queer came out, he was like, dude, that was me, it clicked, yeah. that was me. So I mm -hmm. related it to myself that when I was growing up, by it, by it, by it was fine with me because there are no, no other terms. Yes. I know. It's either, and 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 you bayot know, bayot tumboy, bayot tumboy, and then there's there's bayot ng bayot or bayot ng Maya. Yeah, <laughs> which is the rich uncle. Yeah, the rich <laughs> uncle or the Maya, di ba? The rich yeah. uncle. Okay, history. You rich, you know? Come on, ikaw history gyo, di ba? In Mango Avenue, there was this there was this bar nga. Mm -hmm. Kung di ka kamaya, di ka pa sudlon. Ah, yes. I know this one on the corner. Exactly, <laughs> di ba? And then you, you go in, you're parlorista ka kabayo, and kasun di mo, everybody like, why are you here? Yes, what are you doing here? Mm. Oh, mm. Yes, the rich yes, uncles, yes, right? Yes, oh. rich uncles. So it was actually David who, who opened my mind to that, because when the term trans woman came out, that's when I said it clicked with me, and I was like, oh, that's who I am. I've never been payot, payot, payot. I've always been, you know, comported myself as a woman mm -hmm. and all that. But even when I was a little girl in an all boys school, can you remember? Can you imagine that in our school, <laughs> in our school, Larry and I went to the same school. So yeah, it clicked. So it, you wait for something that clicks, like the two of you. You're both trans men. Do you feel also the invisibility that Kate is saying? Because you have to explain to yourself, no, I'm actually, because you can pass as men, really now after the transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But is there invisibility also there? I guess, but it doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just live my life like a regular person. But not everyone has that privilege. Yeah, because some trans men are visibly trans. Mm -hmm. And when you're visibly trans, you face more discrimination. It's harder to get work, uh, people what misgender is you. Trans? It's the when politically you, correct term no, for, for not passing. Not passing. Yeah. Not passing. Oh, so we go. have passed for Because you yeah. absolutely passed, right? Mm. I mean, when I first met Van, was it two years ago? At a, yeah, at I a think two years, shoot, two, two years ago. <laughs> so who's this good looking guy? <laughs> <Everyone. Diba? laughs> who is this good looking crush guy? Me exactly. <laughs> and then Van started speaking right after the shoot and introduced himself. And he goes, I'm a co founder of a trans man association. And so when Everyone started to look at each other. Did we hear that? Did he say trans man? And then, you know, and that's invisibility in a way, yeah. but you do pass. Is it also difficult in a way? Um, in terms of just, you know, regular going out in public, it doesn't, um, it's not difficult, but it's when I start coming out, when they start asking all these questions, when, you know, you're, when, if you're just a cisgender person, you don't have to answer all these questions all the time, right? Every time you exactly. introduce yourself. Exactly, if you're yourself. cisgender. Yeah. Yes. So th that's the only hard part I can say about, you know, actually saying that I'm trans. Um, so yeah, but I also use it as an opportunity to educate people, especially when I have the time. And you're very good at it because I remember during that shoot, we started throwing Van questions. Mm -hmm. And Van would tell us, no, you know what? Um, mm -hmm. It's a little different when it's trans men. We're not very open about operations and all that because with trans women, mm -hmm. honey, we talk about it like it was Sunday lunch. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. 
I just had uh-huh. a snippet tea, dude, uh-huh. John. It cost me this much. And now I've got to have work done on uh-huh. these, on, you know, the bacal sauce. Right <laughs> so we're, we're a little bit more open to it. And when you started talking to me about that, oh, it's not the same. Yeah. And also, you got it's it's common courtesy. It's still common courtesy. And they always say it's not the same because men are more, uh, they, they hide more. They have to keep up a facade more. Exactly, because they're, they're trans men. And we as trans women mm. are so expressive. We're, we're expected. Exactly. To express. Exactly. But and you know, our which generation... Which is still heteronormative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's still heteronormative. <laughs> But yeah. Jude, you know, this generation is a bit lucky because we all have access to medical procedure, yes. hormonal or um, gender yes. affirming gender hormone affirming. therapy, hormonal therapy, which helps you pass yeah. as men or I, as women. But I don't think that's the point. I don't think the point is you went through this to pass as men. That's not the yeah. point, right? Yeah, I went through this to be comfortable with my own body. Mm. So. And if, the passing is a bonus. Yeah, it's a yeah. bonus. Because it's, it's to a, alleviate gender dysphoria. So gender dysphoria is when you feel distress because your body does not align with how you see yourself. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So you're doing this for yourself because... Not for other people. You want yeah. to escape from the bullying? No. no. Or to, from, from the... You know, you know, I, I, I have worked a lot. Uh, I've worked with so many butch people who cannot pass really as men. Mm. They still, you know, they, they, we, it's very obvious they tape their boobs and everything. Mm-hmm. They, they, they grow Which a lot of why? weight. Because this is like the exact opposite of what trans women do. Correct, <laughs> no? They we, grow a lot we, of weight. You, yeah. you, you mm. strap it uh, in, we let it out. All right. Right? Mm-hmm. We let it all out. And then they're going to be able to get more weight, so they can get more boobs. But they still cannot pass because they have very feminine features. So that's because they don't have access to hormonal yeah. therapy and mm. that, that's a problem especially even even sa mga trans women, women yes. jude yeah. diba hola ko lucky bagtak kuman there you go uh, diba ana man na siya pero dili uh, ang bagtak ug ang shoulder a shoulder <laughs> diba mm. mabaga ni man nang and if they mm. only know how what, what we do for our, with their shoulders you know how many units of botox we put here mm-hmm. just to you know, I know that. You really? botox your shoulders. Oh, you I did. Oh. Okay. It's painful. <laughs> Crazy painful. Wait, hold on. You botox your shoulders. So here, 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 here. So that you know, when I when I uh, wear off shoulders, they slope. Oh. Or else I would look like a football player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is new. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. File that under. File that under new places to put botox. In. <laughs> You only thought here, oh honey, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> here for oh, arms here. It's a you, revelation. You, because because you know why? Oh, I, I I have goodness. very close friends in the pageant world, mm-hmm. and this is what they do now. It's like crazy. Sometimes they can't move for three days, Jude. They really can't. As, as they're paralyzed because wow. of the botox, because of toxin, you know? mm. And and they do everything just to pass. Mm. Yeah. And during during our time, come on, in two thousand, in what? 1994, we don't even know what Botox is. Mm. <laughs> 1994. Spell, spell Botox, <laughs> the Spell Botox. Botox. We still spell it with a CK. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, I'm, I'm, no, I'm. Botox at that time was a, a weapon in war. It really was a weapon in war. It was a chemical weapon. No, but but I'm. Um, this is this is why the you know the term soji is for me like very liberating. Yeah. Um, because it's not just the physical, I think there's a whole mindset yeah. that it opens up yeah. and it changes the conversation. Betao. So, Morag, hearing you define all, each of those letters made me think, ah, so there must be people who identify as so, but then they choose not to express it yeah, exactly. as so. Mm-hmm. So, Morag, and then there's orientation, which I think is such a beautiful word <laughs> because it makes me think of where who are you looking at to position where are you across. directing yourself yes. it's it's such beautiful. an yes. interaction interrelationship word and it's like you so and it's a, someone else yeah. so it's, it's like we have a relationship to ourselves yeah. which is like gender identity and then there's expression like do i choose to express it in a certain way yeah. and then it's like who am i expressing it for you know so it yeah. 
it's super complex. I feel like it gives a lot of people options. <laughs> and, and <the laughs> thing, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, you go first. The thing that you love about it is also the thing that scares a lot of people about it. Huh. Yeah. There you go. So that's true. And um, I realized along the line that like. You know, there might be so many letters in the LGBT, there's a number now, LGBTQIA2, QI2A plus, like, you know, and people are like, there's too many letters, too many numbers. First Wait, hold all, on, explain to them what two is. So two is for the two spirit, um, which is a Native American term. Uh, it's when they had their tribes, I think they still practice it now. Mm -hmm. so, uh, they believed that somebody who contained the duality of the masculine and feminine was two spirit. And so but they were- But isn't it two American? It's, well, I heard we have something like that in our own like Babay culture. Lands. Babay lands. Spirit, yeah, yeah. Spirited, so yes. like I think like every tribal culture had And they were like always deemed um sacred. Yeah. And yeah. sacred. So right. Correct. like I know there's so many letters now and but first of all, if you're from my generation and you memorize hundred and fifty Pokemon, I don't see what you're complaining about. Exactly. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. every you name of every Pokemon. Pokemon. I don't see what you're complaining about. What's seventy eight? Yeah. <laughs> But so I also thought that for me, it was nice to see somebody like myself on TV and it made me feel like, oh, there's a word for me and there's someone out there like me. Mm -hmm. It just made me feel less alone. That's what you told me. So yes. the other letters, if they're not for you, they're not for you. Mm -hmm. They're for some kid at home that doesn't understand how they're feeling and they just don't want to feel alone. So you don't need to memorize all the letters. You don't memorize the periodic table, but you can always Google it, right? When you need it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's that. Mm. But there's a problem there, Jude. Mm. Because if we keep on increasing and make it more universal, yeah. the spectrum wider, the, the acceptance of government yeah. for people like us yeah. would be farther. Well, I guess we can make the straight package. So we can but just, okay, the question is, mm. do you need to legislate common courtesy? No, not at all. But you know, <laughs> the, the access to health, access to education and employment, it seems that so GP people are being discriminated against because of their soji, mm -hmm. and so we need to have protection on on that aspect. A legal, yeah. basis correct, for so a legal that we can also it. punish the the people who will be discriminating against us. Yeah. So th that that is very important, but it seems that our our group no is is trying to make the other people who cannot understand anymore kind of look at us farther because we it can't understand. It further alienates us because even within the group, we keep expanding and we can't agree Th there you go. on all of it. There you go. You because you know, in 2003, when we passed the first anti-discrimination award, it was a gay movement of the Philippines. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was just one gay movement. And mm. then 10 years after, it became LGBT. And then now we're making it SOGI. And, and the SOGI... Um, actually protects the LGBT now you were saying QIA plus <laughs> two, two. 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 Yeah. so mm. if we bring that to Congress and we talk about the spirits already and yeah. they would say they are crazy I mm. mean don't they think we're already crazy I know crazy? I know I know <laughs> mm. but yes we understand if we really have very open minds yeah, but yeah. not all are like us when we think. my question is okay so uh, we each have our own spheres of influence right mm -hmm. and I think we should just make that change within the sphere of influence how do you do it how do you do it right if someone is out there listening to this this discussion they're in the same situation because we're all different situations exactly all of us are different situations. exactly yeah. uh -huh. how do you convince people within your sphere of influence how do you make it e how do you ease them into the idea that it is not just he and she now. So I had a conversation with my friend. He's a straight cis man, and he was so uncomfortable with they. And so we had this whole conversation, and I told him, they're just words, you know? Like, it's just words, it's like names. If somebody wants to be called something, mm -hmm. like, why not take the extra effort to call them by their name? You common might, courtesy. Yeah, common mm -hmm. courtesy. You might not like their name, you might not like what they have to say, but like, how does it really affect you? And he was like, I still can't get behind it. Then we got into the whole conversation about bathrooms. And he's like, yeah, we should make a third bathroom. And I told him, well, bathrooms cost money, but day is free. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's not that complicated. Mm -hmm. Like, to just choose to be kind to somebody else, yes, you know? Yes, common like, courtesy. I feel like a lot of people 
feel that when we have our parades and our balls and we're out and loud and proud, it takes something away from them. It doesn't take anything away from you. Like, that's the first thing. Like, us being here does not make you less straight. It does not make you a different person. Unless you never were in the first place. I mean, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's not even go there. But, right? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, some people think our very existence is a threat to them. And it's like, it's not a threat. Like, I think that's where we have to start. Like, we can coexist. Yeah, like, we don't have to completely understand each other or even agree, but we can respect each other. And we can make sure that everybody gets treated human. Because, mm. like, I guess what Soji's really just trying to do is to make sure we're all treated equally, equally. as humans. It's not about making gay superior or lesbian superior or protecting trans people from or making them feel bigger than like everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's just to level the playing field. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. where people get confused. They think it's like we're trying to be better than them. Like mm. we're, 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 we're asking for special privileges. When we're not, we're, not. we're, we're asking not. to be on the same level mm -hmm. and to as not get fired else. for like being ourselves. Or wearing nails like that. Or wearing yeah. nails, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, come on. I, well, this is bad for productivity. <laughs> it's like, it's so impossible to text with these things. I guess when you Thank God it, they're, um, they're really peel off. off. <laughs> peel off. I'm curious with Kate. I want to hear your take on this. I mean, how do you, because you have to deal with your invisibility convincing straight men, no, I like girls. And then you deal with the farm and the butch and all that. So. What's your take on that? Yeah. How do you convince people? How do you ease them into the idea of being LGBTQIA to QIA plus? I mean, being just me, of course. Like everything, all the people, all the bashers, like I don't really care about it. What, what really matters is being me, like, you know. Because not... let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. She is one of, the, of Cebu's top DJs. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you see her, I mean, everybody just girl crush for trans women, crush for lesbians, and for men. So, so yeah. that should be a problem. Everyone's attracted to you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Everyone's attracted to you at the kitchen sink, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> no. uh, how do you, like in that sphere of influence, how do you ease them into it? Which is the right way to ease? Is there even a right way to ease people into it? <laughs> I'm sure I'm just being me. Oh, like accepting go. like where I am and just showing them that, you know, this is just me and I like women. <laughs> but I have a question though. Like, do, do are you able to convince them that, like, especially those guys who keep trying to, you know, um, hit on you, and then when you tell them that, oh no, I'm into girls, I'm not into men, is is there a struggle there? Yeah, yeah, mostly. But I just ignore them. Pero kaya di ka ma di ka malain kung mayon, especially the older generation, mm -hmm. even belonging to my moms, not not ours, but they will just say. Ay, pati lawara naglaki, mababay yes. lagi na. Or, or the guys would think, oh, because you haven't tried me. Oh, wow. Maybe. Like no, <laughs> I had exes before. I had an ex uh, with men, but yeah. So, wagid sila lang eh. <laughs> okay, there you go. Lamik kay sila. I disagree. But I think Kate's bringing up. I, I love your answer about like, you know, how do you convince someone to accept it's you? Mm. It's like you be yourself. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right? Which Just is be careful, which is like I don't know, it's it's a it's it's okay, the pronouns Mangud is, is a bit about like structuring and systematic changes, mm -hmm. ba, which I think is part of the bill. You know, there are all these like necessary structural mm. changes, uh, which are obviously important. But yeah, I don't know, Kate's answer just reminds me about like Actually, sometimes the best convincing is happening at ground level, yeah. and it's, it's hard to it's, it's 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 hard to explain it, but it's also not very complicated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It just reminds me of just like you know when when we come out to our parents and our parents accept us. There's something very interesting there. Um, it goes beyond structure. <laughs> it goes beyond legal procedure. Mm -hmm. But there's a magical understanding that there is love and care, if you are lucky, um, and then that recognition happens. So I don't know if, if we're asking for how do you make that leap between structural legal changes ba? Mm. And, and the actual thing that there are ways we have been accepted all our lives. Yes. 
have we been have been loved by people who may not always understand us mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. that yeah. that's i think why we're here have we too, been you know yeah. though, or mm. tolerated? tolerated i see yeah because there's mm. a difference mm. I, I think mm. accepted and tolerated would have to be uh fragmented if we talk about family there are no laws in the family mm. so we are accepted in the family but when it comes to society there should be government intervention already so there's tolerance against acceptance so if we talk about society the government should already impose laws so that we can be accepted but right now we're just being tolerated yeah. so we technically have no rights correct right? yeah so that that's what we were looking for especially mm -hmm. when you get married uh, precisely yes. union mm -hmm. is a um, union is a problem now mm -hmm. There's a, there's a, there's a long-running debate before Jude because every time we um, go into seminars, no, this is our experience, there's always your name, your address, your cell phone number, and then your gender. And, and it's always just Mr. Miss. Uh, yes, and then there's, you, you, you encircle M or F. And yeah. we, have a, we have a difficult part as to how to, what, what to encircle. Where does your pen go? <laughs> exactly. I want mm. to circle F, pero na makakod, ba? Mm -hmm. And you signed it afterwards. Like that legally you, speaking, yes, you that might you, get into trouble. Yeah, right? that mm -hmm. this is the true, the veracity of everything that you, and then you, F. Because you pass like a woman. So that's why we were trying to uh, lobby um, with IBP that, you know, we have to put, instead of gender, it should be gender identity. And that it became a debate that we have to also include the SO, the sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. And there were, there were um, uh, sectors that do not want the, sec the SO to be included because it's like talking about sex in a, in a registration form. Mm -hmm. See, just a registration form and the debate did not end. And it did not go anywhere. Just for that to be anywhere. forward, it was just a form. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Are we asking too much? What are we asking for? I mean, <laughs> other countries are already able to do it. True. Yeah. And I, I've tried filling up a form um, in a different country, and they just have sex assigned at birth and then gender identity, which is like really Syria, simple. Like just AFAB, yeah. AMAB. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or just what was assigned to you at birth. So, yeah, so that's it. Just male or female, and then your gender identity. Mm. So, which, is, which makes things simple. And the gender identity have like, I don't know, like how many boxes there, there were there? Yeah, there are also options. Yeah. 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 yeah so, that, which, but. I, I don't want to ask uh, that from the because we're still already trying to simplify things. We're in like so, step one. Yeah, still we're still in the step whole one. process. Because when I answered that in Australia, it was only like two boxes too: Ide gender identity, it's male or female, and now we have queer, and then we have spirits, and I I, I don't know how this will work. So I, um, I'm I'm talking about as a lawyer here because it might be very difficult for us to move forward. If we keep on expanding here and then upstairs, they're also narrowing it down. I think the also um, their forms weren't really didn't really involve all the seventy eight mm -hmm. um, identities or all those identities. It just had uh, an option for others yeah. in case yeah. all of your yeah. So which makes things simpler. Yeah, yeah others good. is a really good um, idea for that or for legal gender recognition in other countries aside from men or women. They, some put X or third sex, I think, yeah. in India. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it's like illegal, like it's on all their documents. Yeah. So you because, can put X on your documents there. Yeah, okay. because legal gender recognition is when the state recognizes your gender identity and usually uh, they allow you to change your first name yeah. and change your gender marker on all your documents. So it's already legal in India to change your gender marker? Yeah, yeah in India, in Thailand, um, in some U.S. states, Singapore as well. Yeah, yeah Singapore, Singapore wow. Canada. Yeah. In our lifetime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I hope so, Jude. I really hope so. You hope so? Yeah. I mean, like you know, there are always these questions I was about changing the, the form. <laughs> I mean, just that, right? Right. It's just one letter, Jude. One letter. <laughs> I mean, okay. So realistically, which one do you think will get approved first? Divorce, gay marriage, same-sex marriage, or um. Same-sex union. Same-sex union. Yeah. Never marriage. Is that going to yeah. happen? Mm -hmm. Because we're Catholic. Mm -hmm. gonna, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, we're a Catholic nation, mostly. Yeah, so it's either divorce, same-sex union, or... Um, legal gender, legal gender, gender re recognition. So or anti-discrimination. Anti... That has to go first. Yeah. 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 It's like among the priority... The gay agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Which scares a lot of people when you say the gay agenda. 
it's just brunch. <laughs> <laughs> brunch with uh, this one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Brunch with a stud. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we believe that the higher the hair, the closer. The closer to, to God. God. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully in our lifetime. Um, I hope so too. Amazing discussion that we had with everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and we hope to open more conversations. As we said earlier, we are none of us are experts about this. Mm -hmm. We've studied parts and parcels of it. Um, we've encountered it in our daily lives, which gives us a little bit of leeway to talk about it. You know the structure of it. Mm -hmm. You face it and you, you know, form words really well. And Kate surprised us with the simplest answer to a complicated question. How do you convince people or ease them into LGBTQ2IA++ just be yourself? I mean, that's the best that you can do within your community or mm -hmm. within your sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you enjoyed the pilot episode of Tabi. And just a final parting words from everyone. We start with Chase and then go all the way around. Um, final words. Well, happy Pride Month, <laughs> yeah. and I hope that you're able to live your like authentic self. Um, same. Happy Pride Month, and this month is like being really showing to everyone who you are, and I hope everyone gets inspired with this, especially the closeted one, and you're not alone. We, we are here for you, yeah. That's it. <laughs> I love that. We're not alone. And, you know... Um, we are legion. <laughs> <laughs> Which scares you. Tabi tabi po. We started with a bad series and now we are legion. We're legions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, the, the, the debate that we have had just earlier, no, no, no matter how, how, how we expand the whole spectrum of the LGBT community, I think this only falls if to kindness, kindness and love. And if we have that in ourselves, then there's no problem. You will never encounter problems from us uh, and with us and towards us because you just treat us kind and you just allow us to love. That's all. And if you don't, there's a lawsuit waiting for you. <laughs> right? Why not? There's a lawsuit waiting for you, Larry. Um, I'm just thinking now of like, you know, how, how powerful gender and sexuality is. Um, it's the story of our lives, you know. Um, and I know we're here to, to really inspire people who are like us. And that includes straight people. Um, I think that the power of difference is so strong and that's why it's so, that's why people are scared of it. Because I think it reminds them that they're more complicated than they think they are. So I hope, you know, like discussions like this inspire you to really think about how complicated each individual is. And that's what we're here to celebrate. And that's why we're here to say we're he, she, they. Bisaya, siya. Siya. Or basa bisaya, siya. Yeah. Which is more forgiving. Yeah. yeah. It does not touch on... It's much easier, right? Yes. We should all just speak bisaya. Siya. <laughs> Which is also a chair. <laughs> I'll be a chair. <laughs> is it me? Yes. Hi, gay. Happy Pride Month. Just kidding. No. Um, yeah, that's it. We just really... It's about love, guys. That's it. That's, uh, that's the only thing that matters with this whole thing. It's that, can you choose love over your own biases? And if you can do that, then it'll be a much simpler place for everybody else. So my turn. Right. So happy Pride Month. And the key thing that I really want to just um, emphasize is just if you're really having pr problems um, addressing us, um, don't be afraid to ask to ask. Like, ask what our pronouns are, um, it, what how we prefer to be called, or what our lived name is. And yeah, just think of addressing us as common courtesy, just like how Miss Jude said so. Um, yeah, and if you're closeted and you're not out yet, you don't have to come out. It, just take as much time as you need 
and coming out is not a requirement it's a personal journey and no one should take that away from you and yeah um, don't be afraid to be your authentic self Happy Pride Month! Daghang salamat sa pakikinabi ka na mo. Karong hapun na, karong adlawa, karong gabi una, karong buntaga, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. I'm Jude Bakal, so my pronouns are she and her, but I will also answer to Diosa. <laughs>